Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of the Sky Map. And guys, we are on episode 99. And today, guys, uh, I need a filler episode because there's nothing to really build, nothing that I can build in one episode. So yeah, I need a filler. So we are gonna go on a tour of the Sky Map. Sounds cliche, I know, but you would be surprised at how many changes have been made since that first episode. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, and I guess we'll start with my house. This has been here for quite some time. Um, not since the very beginning of the series, but it's been here for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, let's head inside. And this is the main room. Uh, I've been wanting to get rid of these torches and just put them under a carpet for a bit now. Well, I thought of that today. But, uh, see, so yeah, we're gonna have to get to that at some point in the future. I'm planning on doing that soon. Soonish, I should say. Uh, this is my pet chicken, who I have not named. And honestly, I think I just need to get rid of him at this point. He lays eggs around my house, and it's not fun. Next is the living room, which I have nice windows that look outside. Uh, towards the Oasis land, which we'll get to, and the rest of the sky map. Along with this fireplace that costed a lot of time. And then finally is up here, which, this is a pretty cool room. This is my bedroom, the attic. And yeah, we have these nice windows that allows us to see what we could see down in the living room. Uh, but we also have a bed and this piece of the animal paradise, which we will not get to, sadly, because it has since been dismantled uh, since it was first created. So, yeah, that's kind of upsetting, but it's fine, it's fine. We're going to sleep. And then, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to show you guys something that's a little different. Uh, yeah, I just do my intros. I come out here and I just do my intro to each of my videos. Uh, yeah, I just look at the sky map sign and boom. But, next thing's next. This chest over here is empty. Well, this one actually has some stuff in it. This is my chest of treasures, which I've recently added some things. First of all, uh, we've got pieces of the animal paradise, which is the first thing I built on the sky map. Not this house. The animal paradise was the first thing I ever built. We have the dragon egg, and we have the original bed used when chopping trees. Um, which, that's only recently been added, it was like down there, I used to just, uh, chop trees and I'd keep the bed there. Uh, and then we have pieces of Kevin and Cake Roulette. Uh, we have the sprinkles, and we actually have the Cake Roulette Island Key, the original. I found this in a chest and I said to name it, because we spent a lot of time getting that. And, uh, we got a Wither Rose quite a while back, so I decided to finally put that in here. On the other hand, this chest here is empty. Uh, but yeah, I come out here, do my intro, and I actually do like to come up here sometimes for that. It's just, well, I like to come up on like the straight up roof sometimes. It's pretty cool. So yeah, next I think we're going to go to this island here, which is where the sky map started here at zero, zero. Not down here, but like, at zero zero one hundred or zero one hundred zero so yeah it's pretty cool but then we've we've got this furnace which i've kept here for a while i should probably get rid of this um yeah and this used to all just be dirt now it's grass which is very nice next is over here which used to look completely different actually this used to be obsidian and just it didn't, it, it used to be obsidian and dirt, but now I've replaced it with cobblestone uh, completely. There is still a little bit of the stone down there, I think. If I like, if I like glide down here, yeah, we can still see some of the stone and dirt from all the way back then. All the way back in like, what, episode two? When did we? We got to this island in, like, episode one. 
And then we started, this was where the cobblestone generator originally was. Oh my god, that was so long ago. Holy crap. Uh, but yeah, since then the island has expanded. This used to be where our tree farm was, actually. And now uh, we have this uh, infinite water source here, which we don't really need anymore. We have that at zero, zero there. So I don't think we really need this anymore. So we're eventually going to get rid of this. Uh, where to, oh, I guess we'll start with the, we'll go to the cobblestone generator next. This is a very efficient cobblestone generator, limited only by my current pickaxe status, which is I'm limited to stone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you sort of just mine the cobblestone and it will go into this chest here. And a recent accommodation is this beacon that I got after killing the wither. And I put haste on it, because that is probably the most useful thing. So, next up I say we head over to the mob spawner. The leaky bucket. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've called it that. The leaky bucket is uh, probably the most efficient cobble, not cobble, mob spawner I've ever had, because there's nowhere else for them to spawn, and they're constantly spawning up there. And as you can see, we have a lot of loot. Like, a lot, a lot. Look at all this. We have so much gunpowder. Jesus. Heard a squeak. Anyway. I'm all jittery after hearing that now. Uh, a recent accommodation to the leaky bucket is the handle, which looks very nice. I, I do like the handle. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be a bucket leaking out mobs. Oh, shoot. Uh, and honestly, it, li it lives up to it. It lives up to it. So, where to next? Let's go to the Wasteland. And this is it. This is the Wasteland. As a matter of fact, uh, when making it, I made a checklist, which I still stinking have. Oh, my God. When was this? This was almost a year ago. Speaking of a year ago, I believe the sky map actually came out like a li either a year ago or close to a year ago from today when this is being recorded. I'm not sure about when it's uploaded, but yeah. So a little less than a year ago, I'd say like uh, when I was still doing the challenges at Disco Island, which we'll get to, this is going to be a long video, uh, so sit comfy. Uh, so yeah, we've got our wheat farm, and it's basically, the, the Wasteland is supposed to be like a desert oasis, but it's in the middle of a desert, a wasteland, so I decided to call it the Wasteland, because there are still wasteland things here, which we'll get to. So yeah, we've got our wheat farm, uh, which, oh my god, I remember now, originally, this area here... Was it? The, yeah, it was like this area here. This was the wheat farm originally. Holy, holy crap. We've done so many episodes. We, we've been doing this for a year now. It, it, the nostalgia is hitting me. If I rewatch some of those videos, it's going to be like, man, that was so long ago. So yeah, I normally harvest when everything's all grown, which it isn't. This one has to grow just a little bit. Uh, anyway, let's eat some bread. I stocked up on bread before this. We have our palm trees with our coconuts, aka cocoa beans. And our sugarcane farm goes around this lake, which um, we used to, the lake we used to kill drowns for like those episodes where we were trying to get the trident for the Cake Island Key. Yeah, man, oh my god. That feels so long ago, but it really wasn't that long ago. Anyway, next we have our cactus farm, which I put inside of a skeletal structure, which you can find in Minecraft, by the way. You can find similar structures out of bone blocks in deserts just by digging around a little bit. Uh, as long as you're in a desert biome, you'll actually be able to find something around this size. I actually did base this off of real Minecraft designs. Anyway... Next up is this building over here, which houses a bunch of smokers 
and two compost bins, along with two crafting tables, all of which are very useful. And honestly, I designed this all on my own. Man, this is so long ago. Uh, I actually just used these off camera to just cook some potatoes, which I'm gonna get to that later. Next up, we have our potato farm, which, yeah, a lot of this was built uh, quite a long time ago, but and it's used quite frequently as well. Uh, we also have our carrot farm. I get all my carrots here, just mine them. And now next is our pumpkin farm, which, yeah, this has not changed once. I don't even think I've ever gotten these pumpkins once, ever. <laughs> I actually remember I keep all these hydrated using uh, slabs uh, underneath the, like these are waterlogged half slabs. I have my beetroot farm, which, was this recent? I think it, yeah, this was recent. This was a recent accommodation that I made. When was it? Around the... Man, around the time of Disco Island, I guess. Well, next up, melon farm. We've got a melon farm. We've had this for ages. It's not changed once. Next up is the uh, bamboo farm, which I made very recently. Uh, I basically placed leaves around here. Uh, made this area a little more green, as in a wasteland would, but in a, in a oasis would probably be in real life. Actually, I think I don't know. I've never been in the desert. I live in a very cold climate. Uh, and then next, we'll get to this. Uh, this is more filler for this last little area. Otherwise, it would have just been blank. That would have been that would have been really bad. Next is the pool of kelp, which. This is filled up. It just hasn't all grown. Um, yeah, it's, it took me a long time off camera to get all this kelp ready. Uh, but I remember this is also a recent accommodation, the swimming pool and all that. And then I made this, like, little stand here. And it is nighttime again. Okay. Right, we're going to sleep and we'll finally leave this area. There's a lot to this area, guys. There is a lot to this area. Uh, yeah, we just gotta sleep. I like to sleep in the sky map to avoid mobs, because they just spawn everywhere. It's really bad. I did bring a sword with me, just in case we find a mob. Uh, so yeah, I have that in my inventory. So yeah, let's continue onwards and upwards. Towards, uh, well, New things. So, are we going to go right or left? Let's go left. So, this here was where the animal paradise was. Uh, it was basically like wood uh, walls around an area. This was all grass. And then I realized it's kind of useless. So, I took it down. We have the pieces in the chest. We have a few of the pieces. The rest of them were used for... What project were they used for? Dang, I used, I needed sticks for some sort of project. Uh, and then I built this area where I now chop down tons and tons of trees. I even have a stone ax in there, a bunch of saplings. Like, yeah, I just have a ton of stuff in here. Now, next, let's go on to the sheep farm, which is actually styled. I actually used the exact same uh, area in my creative world to build this blue the blueprint for this. And this is basically where I keep all my sheep. Uh, I dyed them green for that project there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to this later, but for now, let's go to the nether island. This is the nether island, and these chests still have not been emptied. Wow, I, I'm i probably never going to get to emptying these, but I do use the materials in here a lot. Uh, I keep a bed here to set my spawn, a crafting table. Uh, this is the end portal, we, which we lit a while back. It, it wasn't too long ago, but it was a few months. Uh, and we fought the ender dragon. 
And then next is the nether, which I think this is why I brought a sword with me. I, I didn't plan on going to the nether. I'm going to show just a little bit. Uh, we've got that island there. We have the... Oh my god, the temples. Yeah. Okay, so we have this temple here, which is actually where we got our trident. Can't go any further. There's, like, break in, breaks in the immersion. Um, yeah, we have, like, the pumpkin temple. Which, there's an exit to right over... Oh my god, I forgot about the fact that we can buy ice. I completely forgot about this. Yeah, it's a snow block for packed ice. It won't actually analyze that, though. That shuts that door. Uh, oh yeah, our blaze farm is right there. I've been working on upgrading it, but not very well. Yeah, this place was like a Halloween challenge. And then... Oh shoot. Hi. Hi, Mr. Gas. Are we gonna get a gas here that... No, we're not. He's leaving me. Uh, yeah, there's the piglin that we trade with over there, and we're going to leave. Oh yeah, the nether fortress is over there. There's a lot of stuff in the nether fortress, but I'm not gonna show that. Next, uh, let's head over here. We have a very OG creation here, guys, and that is the chest. This giant chest stores all our stuff in a nice, organized way, and actually, I just, like, recently I grabbed a bunch- okay, not everything. I left these two barrels. I grabbed a bunch of the stuff from random chests scattered around Skymap, and I just brought all the stuff here. Like, we have a- we had a lot of stuff. That's actually how I found one of the- that, uh, that lever for uh, cake roulette. Next, let's go with another, so this is, oh yeah, let's go with this OG creation, the Soul Sand Path, which I haven't always had this elytra. I had this for just uh, not too long. So what I'd do is I'd have Soul Speed 3 boots, and I'd run along this to get to the temple, or the, the Disco Island. Uh, well, no, Temple Island at the time. It is Disco Island now. Next is the coffee shop. Uh, yeah, I definitely stole some... Uh, well, not really stole. I just used some designs. Some design choices from other YouTubers on their channels. Uh, I definitely did that. And I made the coffee shop, which is my brewing area. These are... This one's not empty. It has just, like, just a little sliver. Not that one, though. Hmm. I have still not filled these chests after almost a hundred episodes. Not... After almost, like, how many... How many episodes has this thing been around? Like... Let's just say... Uh, more than 50. I'm gonna say, like, 75 episodes. It's still not full. Next up is the snail shell, which is our blacksmith. We have so much stuff here, guys. We have our furnaces, um, and I actually just stocked up on coal because I needed to repair my elytra. Uh, so I need to get some levels. <laughs> I uh, We have our enchanting table here, maxed out. And we have our other enchanting sort of stuff here. We've got our uh, smithing tables, an anvil, stone cutters, because why not? I don't know where else I'd put them. Ah, should have brought my water bottle with me. Whoops. Anyway, now for our latest creation in this area. Uh, the Tree Hotel. It's basically a hotel where I now that I now use for... Uh, sleeping when I'm chopping down trees because that it, it's very tedious it takes a lot of time I need to sleep uh, quite frequently in the sky map so yeah next uh, before going over more that way we're gonna head over here this island has always been the smallest I have a few plans for this in like actual series stuff but like uh, yeah, this island has always been small, and this mushroom is still unnamed. I've never named this mushroom ever. 
should probably do that. Wait, is there still, there's still wood in here. I remember I put this barrel here along with the crafting table so I could make bowls. Because this was the original way I got food before I had like frequent wheat and carrots and potatoes and all that great stuff. Um, yeah, this was a pretty recent thing that I made, and it's basically like our travel agency. It's it's supposed to be kind of like an airport. Wow, this is still not all grown. Man. How long is this? Wait, it might be out of render. For... No, it's not out of... Shoot. I almost died and lost my elytra. That would have really sucked for the 100th episode. Not the 100th. The 99th episode. This is supposed to be like a helipad. And the runway is made out of obsidian, I know, but like, it was a very easy... We had a lot of obsidian at the time. So, yeah, now we're going to head very far all the way over to here. Which is Disco Island. Originally, this island was not so colorful, though. It used to be a dark, dingy temple island. And then I changed it because I thought it was too dark and dingy. So I changed it up, made it a lot more colorful and a lot brighter. Uh, there are torches all under these carpets. Like, oh yeah, this stand. I actually uh, got some extra gold ingots now. I hate Tobias. Tobias has the worst deals. Like, look at this. 10 gold ingots for a piece of of gravel. Bro. No, it's not great. Uh, but yeah, David is the one who I use the most, just for XP and emeralds. I definitely use him the most. And then this, oh man, do I have any, I have no idea. This is how we get uh, our currency. If you place an item in here, you get a gold in or, or a gold nugget so yeah that's how I basically get currency it has been ages since I've actually used that system because guess what I just go into creative now and also there's still a sign here why why is this still here I'm gonna get rid of that um, I guess I'll just I'll place that in here for now yeah we have all of our villagers we have David Karina Bruce, Sammy, Tobias, and yeah, that's it. Uh, Karina, what it? Karina sells like naturey stuff, sort of. And then Bruce, what does Bruce sell? Yeah, he sells like, he sells diamonds and stuff. Sammy, I have used Sammy for the quests, and that is it, because she mostly sells like seed stuff, and I don't really need them anymore. So yeah, I kind of just stopped using her and Tobias because you know what there are better ways but yeah like that's the main dance floor we also have the disco area which we have two music discs and a jukebox which I spent a diamond on this guys that is very big for me to use a diamond on this series because they're expensive they're very hard to get Let's sleep again, and yeah, we're using this area for what it's supposed to be used for. This is the slipper party area. I think I, I call it Disco Island because there's like the big disco ball on it, but it's really Party Island because there's like, there's party areas everywhere. We've got the slipper party area, uh, we've got the pool party area here with the nice slide, and there's actually a roof party. Uh, there, are, there are ladders to get up here, but who cares? We got a big disco ball up here, and we have uh, just the disco, uh, disco floor up here as well. And most recent redesign of this place is having the uh, crimson wood instead of stone bricks. Actually, I remember I had to place this, this lever here so long ago. Oh man, how long ago was it? Episode... Episode 2. Seven, 97 episodes ago, I came here for the first time. 
and now we're touring it and it looks so different. But next is cake air is the cake area. But first, I can probably pick up this bed honestly. Uh, I'll just place that in my inventory. First, let's go to beautiful Sunset Island, which is our berry farm. Hi! That's what I think of your egg. Yeah, what do you think about that, huh? <laughs> I've been doing this for too long. Anyway, yeah, I, I just sit here and look at the beautiful sunsets almost never. Because you know what? I can see the sun and the moon from anywhere. There's the moon there, there's the sun. Anyway, this is the most recent thing we've built. This is Cake Park. Uh, it's got the frosting as like grass, and then we've got like some nice lamps and a beautiful rainbow fountain. Uh, this was built in the last three episodes. So if you want to see me building it, it's pretty recent. Next is the Cake Factory, and I should mention, uh, I'm gonna keep that on actually. This looked so much different. Like, this used to be a building, guys. This used to be a giant cake. And it was a uh, cake roulette. We basically played that all the time. Not all the time, though, because it's very far away. I just never ended up using it. So yeah, it's here now. Next is the cake factory, which has not been used too much. But it's basically, we've got an assembly line of the way to make a cake. We've got buckets, extra materials, we've got eggs, lots of eggs. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. And then we have crafting tables. So we can make many cakes here, and it's a very colorful place. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty fun. And then finally, the cake warehouse, which is supposed to contain more cakes, but I couldn't make that many. But then, probably the biggest thing I've ever done in Survival Minecraft, build this road all the way to the cake shop, because that required me to put all this cobblestone down. This, the area where the torches were, there used to be one cobblestone on both sides of it. It used to be a three path all the way over there. Now it's expanded like crazy. To the point where I actually no longer have to fill in this area. This is all good for a long time. Uh, but yeah, I never really use this road. I'm, I'm flying half the time. But it is nice to have a cake shop, which is our final destination on this tour. Here at the cake shop, uh, a recent accommodation is I put torches here to just light the place up a little bit. Mobs are spawning in. Uh, you'd come from the cake warehouse all the way down here, and you'd put the cakes in. Which, we have many cakes here, actually. We have a lot of cakes. Uh, but yeah, we've got the desk, we've got the um, cash registers. It's a pretty cool place. And it kind of looks like a cake, just like everything else made for, oh yeah, just like everything else made for Cake Island. And actually, one more destination, the sign, the sky map sign, which I am so used to looking at. If I can get onto it, that would be pretty cool. Okay, stop. Come on, come on, make it. All right. Like, this this sign has been here longer than, like, the actual sky map itself. Well, okay, that's not true. But the sign has existed for a long time. And now I stand atop it, looking upon what I have created. We came so far from that little small dirt island, and now we're at this point in the sky map. Wait, I'm going to turn off my render distance a little bit so we... So we can see the Cake Island, potentially. Yep. We can't even see everything. We... Man. It's, take, it's been a long road. But now, we're here. Nearing episode 100. Up. Uh, and that is just the way to end the video. Me dying by accident. I think that's the first time I 
have experienced kinetic energy on the sky map. We gotta run towards my stuff so I can get that elytra back. If it's still there, please still be there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, please, please, please. Okay, 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 okay. It's good. It's all there. It's all there. <laughs> um, but yeah. One more thing I want to do before we end the video is, dang it, I have full hunger now. Uh, I was going to eat this cake, because this is what I got in one of the last episodes for winning cake roulette. Uh, by cheating, honestly. I, I took a lot of attempts. But I guess I'm not going to be able to eat it, so... You know what? Let's just place it upstairs. Uh, let's just place it in here, right here. We're gonna have it there. Uh, let's just let it collect dust forever. So you know what? I've been wanting something to go there. I've actually been wanting an ender chest for a while now. But yeah, guys. That is going to end this video here. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love. And I will see you all later. Bye!